Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the 2018-2019 7 box basketball mixer. Ba basically a Luca and Trey Young mixer featuring 7 box of 2018-19 product. A box of Prism Hobby, which is to your left. Four boxes of 1819 Optic Fast Break, which is the green ones right here. 1819 Certified all the way in the back there. And then 1819 Hoops, which is down here. We're using our secondary, second camera our backup camera, so in case you're wondering why the quality looks a little different. Uh, big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Appreciate it. All the teams are in. And now you notice, Joe, there was a door buster, wasn't it? There was. If you were one of the first 20 to get spots, you were entered to win. You were entered to win a box of 1819 Hoops basketball. Luka? Question mark? Could be. It's that 18. It's one of those boxes right down there. So here's what we're going to do. I put a little mark right there, there next to Nathaniel. The, that's the 20th spot right here. So thanks to the first 20 right here, the top two names will win one of those boxes about $110 value. That's not bad at all. Great little uh, Black Friday special rolled over to Saturday. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a two, six times. One. Two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, it's David Munn. There you go. Congrats to you, David, and to Justin. The two of you two of you. I'm gonna print that out right there for the shipping team. Are you printing? Yes, there it is. We'll be getting those boxes shipped to you sealed. Oh, should we just officially put the names in right here? I guess I could have done that. That was the whole point of this. It's been a long week. Boom! There you go. All right, now let's do the actual randomizer. For the break itself. Let's roll it and randomize it. Two and a four. Six, wasn't it six times here? Yeah, four, it was four and a two. Now it's two and a four. Two and a four six times for the names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got Eric down to Scott. in this tab over here. Two and a four, six times the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we've got the Wizards down to the Chicago Bulls. Eric with the Wizards, Evan with the Pacers, James O, Last Spot Mojo, Timberwolves, Bobby with the Thunder, Asa with the Grizz. Yeah, I can't forget about Jaron Jackson Jr. possibilities there too. Aaron with uh, the Clip Show, Scott Cavs, Heat Warriors, Charles with the Bucks, Justin with the Spurs, Khan with the Knicks, Brian O with the Utah Jazz, Justin with the Suns, Tony with the Pels, Scott with the Magic, Charles with the Raptors, Jeremy with the Lakers, Eric with the Pistons, Charles with the Mavs. Remember, this is 2018-2019. Sixers for Aaron. Sean with the Hawks. Remember, this is 2018-2019. David with the Hornets. Aaron with the Kings. Abraham with the Nuggets. Aaron with the Trailblazers. Scott with the Nets. Aaron with the Rockets. Nathaniel with the Celtics. And Scott McNulty, you have the Bulls. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And any trades? Make myself some more room here for this break. These 
shoe boxes can fit this entire rig? I think so. All right. Jazz up for trade. Anybody for the Jazz? Raptors? Jazz Raptors, maybe? You two might be the only people that are in this break that are watching live right now. Or that actually want to trade as well. Pacers, maybe? All right. Evan's here, too. All right, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Trade. Window. is closed trade window closed let's print let's rip let's see if we can find some uh some of the big names from 2018 2019 All right, there is the official printout right here. Once again, we're using our backup camera, so apologies if the quality seems a little off from what you usually expect. James O, Timberwolves, Last Bond Mojo. Everybody else right there. All right. Let's start with just these little green guys right here. How about 1819 Fast Break, Donner's Optic Fast Break? We'll start off with those. Good luck, everyone. I realize there was a kind of a busy day in hoops today, right? Let's look at some scores here. I'll catch up on some scores. The football season, believe it or not, is almost over, right? I think there's what four more weeks of football left. Then you know, then you got playoffs, and then but then playoffs and Super Bowl will happen. Boom, boom, boom. And the next thing you know, we're just like, oh, I guess it's time to start paying attention to basketball and hockey. I guess you got maybe pitchers and catchers will start to report, but it's still too early for baseball. Anyway, Kings beat the uh, Nuggets in overtime. 100 to 97. Sixers beat the Pacers. 119 to 116. This was the big kind of wow moment uh the uh rockets put 158 on the hawks in regulation in four quarter four standard quarters of basketball james harden had 60 points through uh three quarters i think someone was saying earlier i think charles and sat out the fourth quarter and ended up with 60 points three rebounds and eight assists 60 points in three quarters as wild. Trey Young had a good day. 37 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists. But, I don't know. I mean, other guys have to score on that team too, right? And play a little defense, maybe? All right. Good luck, everybody. Uh, only veteran commons won't ship, but Jaron Jackson Jr. will certainly ship. Chandler Hutchinson, of course, will go. Dion Waiters. There's DeAndre Ayton to 95. Nice. 
Draymond. Who's was hiding behind Colin Sexton. Dirk Nowitzki was hiding back there. Nicola Batum. That's right, Rex. What's up? Sorry, Blake Griffin. Brian, you're still waiting for a tennis random number block break? Are you serious? And there's Wally Zerbiak. Careful what you wish for, Brian. It'll appear, and then we'll be sitting there going, well, where, where, where did Brian O disappear to? Seemed like he was all about the tennis. Timberwolves, that'll be for James O. Last spot, Mojo. Nice. Oh, Wally Zerbiak. There's Jeff Green. That's the 20. I think these pink parallels are exclusive to this fast break set. There's Draymond Green to 95. Jalen Brunson. And Joe Ingles in the back right there. You get it, I'll buy it. You heard it here first, folks. It's on the record. It's on this recording. We are eight minutes and ten seconds into this basketball break. Brian O, quote, you get it, I'll buy it. We've had the tennis convo before. All right. Okay, just it sounds like you're serious then. Some people say, hey, when are you getting in more of XYZ? And then we'll get it, and then we're like, okay. I like, go, oh, but you know, I don't have the money for the break anymore, or oh, that I guess it was more expensive than I thought, or oh, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll dig up some tennis. Who, who uh, Leaf? It's just Leaf who does tennis, I think, in any kind of capacity, in any kind of serious capacity, and they do a pretty decent job. Like, oh, I was hoping you'd do a one-box break of that stuff, not a full-case break. Yeah, all sorts of caveats. Uh, Edward, yes. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yes, we just went through the final... Oh, and then the Bucks just rocked the, the Hornets, 137-96. But, but yeah, we were just going through scores in the first box of the seven-box mixer. And yeah, Rockets in regulation scored 158 points. Isn't that crazy? James Harden had 60 through three and sat out the fourth quarter from what I understand. And there you go. And P.J. Tucker scores 10 points. Westbrook has 15. You know, Clemens has 16. Austin Rivers has 14. Next thing you know, that's 100. And then a couple other guys here and there. And next thing you know, that's 158 points. All in regulation. Crazy. No, de just no defense from the from the uh, Atlanta Hawks. Apparently, I mean Trey Young put down thirty seven points, but that doesn't help when there's only what a few other guys in double digits, and that's low double digits. Jabari Parker at eleven points, that's not enough. DeAndre Hunter fourteen points, that's not enough. Alex Len with twelve points, that's not enough, and not enough defense. And then that's what happens. All right, next box. Soccer, we definitely do. I'm a big soccer fan. My team, Liverpool, beat Brighton Hove Albion earlier today, 2-1. to one. Jerome Williams and Manchester City, City drew against uh, Newcastle, I believe. So they dropped points. Liverpool, I think, are like 8 or 11 points clear. They could win the title this year. They haven't won since the early 90s. All right. I think there was a... Did I miss a... Or was that coming up? It was in my mind. 
Maybe that, that guy right here. Oh, that's what I was looking for. The Luka Doncic rated rookie. Steph Curry. 22 out of 50. TJ Warren. There's Luka Doncic rated rookie for the Dallas Mavericks. Charles with that one. And the Steph Curry, of course, will go to the Warriors. That's the 50. Yeah, that rated rookie, what, you were saying, Brian, I was saying 40 bucks right there? That doesn't surprise me. If it was a silver, if it was a, or I think they call them hollow in Donner's Optic. It was a hollow parallel. Could be 100, maybe. If it gets great, if it grades out nicely. There's Giannis, 3 out of 20 on that one for the bucks. That'll be for Charles. Nice Giannis. How did Giannis do today? Giannis had 26, 9, and 4 assists. I was, I guess I was a little, hey, as a, it's just observing from, from Los Angeles, I thought the Milwaukee Bucks would need to do a lot more in the offseason, but they're 17 and 3, right? It seems like they're doing fine <laughs> with, the, with the moves they made. There's Nikola Jokic for the Nuggets. Wow, hollows are going for 700, Vinny? Not graded? That's, that can't be right. If so, that's amazing. Edwards, like, I don't know much about soccer, but the EPL Prism first off the lines really... They're fun. And, and soccer, since they don't produce very much soccer... Well, that's why we don't always have them in soccer. Since they don't produce a lot of soccer, that's why... Um, that's why, like, some of the secondary market value on some players could be pretty huge. There's Miles Bridges right here to 85. Charlotte, David Munn, look that, look that up, David. Because Miles Bridges kind of has like a weird kind of kind of poor man's Ben Simmons factor because I think he his autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck, so this stuff is the only stuff he has, just base cards and parallels, not even any relics I think. So those actually might go for a little bit more than you than you think. Wow. So Vinny says you have one. So they're going for about seven, and then graded ones are going to, for about twelve hundred. That is wild. There's Jaron Jackson Jr. What does a graded non-hollow go for then? Thanks, Luka Doncic, for being being good in your second year. It's hashtag good for the hobby. Nice Jaron Jackson Jr. as well. All right, two more of these fast breaks. Then we'll do hoops. We'll do that. We'll do hoops. I guess we'll do certified, and we'll close out with Prism. I feel like Prism has, has some big hit opportunities in there, especially with all the different parallels. Yeah, hey, no worries, Charles. It wasn't a hollow one, but we'll try to find you one of those too. But that that just regular rated rookie is probably going to cover three quarters of your spot in this break, or that one spot in this break. Find you a couple more. we will cover more spots in this break for you. Maybe if you get it graded, who knows? But all those inserts will add up. Wow. Steve Olsen saying Gem 10 went for 2000 Yeah, Vinny's like, I sold one, one what on eBay for 50 bucks last year? A hollow? Luca Hollow, oh man, yeah. There's there's some players 
where you just have to, it's like the stock market, you know, buy low, sell high kind of thing, you know, and so, and just know when, know when to hold. I think is also an important thing. All right, next, well, first of all, another Luka Doncic. So that's just a regular one, but it's another 40 or so right there for Charles. Every one of those count. All right, oh, the autograph is early. It's Walt, old Walt Frazier. Five out of 10, Walt Frazier. Nice. That will be for the New York Knicks. Con with the Knicks. Five out of ten on that autograph. There's Rudy Gay to 95. Vinny saying Panini somewhere hinted that the print run on the hollows were super low, so then they just skyrocketed. Well, it, they must be because I don't remember seeing too many. When when we whenever we rip open these boxes, they don't seem too common. Like the regular rated rookies seem to be pretty common, but the hollows definitely not. I guess in general, I mean, look at I don't haven't haven't seen too many. You'll see the parallels, like these bubbles and whatnot. But I guess just the hollows alone don't seem too common. And this is fast break edition, but still. There's Will Barton, 10 out of 50 for the Nuggets. What up, Brett? Welcome back. Yeah, last few days have been pretty crazy. We've been just breaking non -stop. Even today has been pretty busy too. There's Julius Randall Pelicans edition right here. All right, next box of 2018 Panini. Donner's Optic, Fast Break Basketball, Fast Break Edition. Chad B, what up, Chad? Saying, I'm debating on selling my Zion Silver now while they're going for 600 or waiting until the, the until he plays and they go up. I want to wait and then their price are Well, I mean, that's the, that's the thing. How, how bold are you? You know, the, like... You have to trust. It's like it's the stock market. Think of it as a stock market. It's just like, well, I could get I could get Apple stock in the '80s for however much it is. Imagine the people that drop that Apple stock in the '90s, but the, then the people that held it through the through the first iPhone era. You know what I mean? Like the iMac and then iPhone era. It's You got to do your research and trust your gut, and see what see what you think. I think if you have, well, I was gonna say, oh, you have silver collegiate. Yeah, I would move that now. Because think about Prism. Regular Prism drops next Wednesday, and in fact, retail editions of Prism. Are already out. We've busted open some of those, you know. And blaster editions have already p come out. So wait for those. Yeah, we've pulled some Zion's, Brett.
But I I would I would definitely if you have any collegiate stuff, I would definitely move the collegiate stuff. Because I think most people at the end of the day will want pro stuff. Because the collegiate stuff is nice if you're a fan of that college, you know, but just to personally collect. But once regular Prism comes around, there's John Sally Pistons edition. In my opinion, my personal opinion, you know, if you know, if you can get you can get regular Prism Zions, I think that that will be the huge one that you would may want to decide whether you hold or hold or move. But yeah, yeah, like Logan saying, collegiate always always kind of drops. No, Zion uh, should be playing in mid-December, I think, a couple weeks or so. But yeah, I would move that collegiate ASAP. And then you want the, you definitely want the prism, that, that prism version of 1920 basketball, which you can pre-order now on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another Luca. Brad, you think Jaleel Okafor 2.0? I don't remember Jaleel Okafor having Zion level of, of hype. I think it's different. I think, you know, it's not only the, the, the quality of play, you know, but I think there's got to be not only quality of play, but there's some sort of charisma around Luka Doncic, right? You know? So I think that also is part of it. It's all it's 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 personality, uh, as well as good play on the court. I think th those are the key to 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 the to the to like hobby greatness. I think, or like if you're like an international player, you know, like Shohei Otani or something like that. You know, Rui Hachimura. You know, is another good example this year. And doubly, if they play well, then it's it's even great. But yeah, I mean, I think I I think you know, it's a huge question mark. There's Paul Millsat to fifty for Zion. I mean, the thing is, though, Zion looked great in the preseason. Has looked great in college. Has looked great in preseason. You know, highlights are on all the time. That that drives hype. Spencer Dinwiddie to 20. It's crazy how mature Luca seems on the court for only 19. Well... Yeah, I mean, he was he was in. It's like it's like the uh, soccer system, where they identify athletes like in their sometimes in their like elementary school years, and they put him into the program. He's been playing with playing professionally probably since like sixteen years old, sixteen seventeen years old. He's probably been playing professional basketball with grown men in Europe. You can say what you want about Europe, but if you're still a kid, you know, like you know, so. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be. I think nothing's really, A, nothing's really been moving significantly. B, I'm just out of steam. <laughs> My voice is going and it's actually been, I don't know if the heater's been working here at the shop, so it's kind of extra chilly in here. And so I feel like I'm getting under the weather a little bit and we've got a busy week next week. So yeah, I think we're going to call it after. I mean, unless... Like, if someone sells out the 2014 Topps Translucent break, that football break, to win a spot in the Lamar Jackson mixer, I'm down to do that. And uh, if... Uh, or if you want to do the... Whatchamacallit? The uh, series... The Archive Signature Series break to try to win a spot in Transcendent. We can sneak that in too, just a quick little one box break. Otherwise, I think we're going to call it a night. So, yeah, otherwise we're otherwise we're done for the night, folks. We're already in the last hour of our broadcast anyway. And this is the end of my week, so 
Well, we're back tomorrow. Don't worry. Jason's back tomorrow, and he'll, he'll break a ton of stuff tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, the heater, Brian O. Don't, don't laugh. You, you think you have the, uh, you think you have, uh, the monopoly on, on, on what cold is? This is cold for me. It's all relative. Weather. Hermosa Beach. Am I just being a baby? Nah, it's 54 degrees. Burr. This is cold for us. My body has, has, has been finely tuned to, to mid 70 degree weather at this stage of November. 54 degrees. That's cold for us. That's cold for us. 54 degrees at nine o'clock. All right, thanks, Andrew. I'll see you. Shorts weather? Like, I'm about to put on my scarf right now. At 54 degrees in your house, at least you can, like, curl up in your bed and watch Jaspies on your phone, right? You can throw a... Throw a blanket around around your shoulders. I guess I could do that too. But uh, you know what? I need a Snuggie. Do they still make those? I need like a fleece blanket or like a onesie or something like that. Then I can get all then I can get all cozy and I can break in any condition. All right, Charles. We're just racking up these Lucas for you. But listen, the same injury concerns that everyone has with Zion, you know, could happen to anybody. So, like, I, I don't know what people are wor worried about. Although, I don't know. He seems, this guy, what is he, 6'6", 220? That's, I mean, he's a little, and that's actually kind of a soft 20. If you look, if you ever watched Doncic play, or at least last year, he looks fitter now. But he still had a little bit of baby fat, baby fat around him. He could be pretty scary. <laughs> but, like, yeah, Zion's like 18 or 19 years old as well. And he, he's a little chubby. He can lose a little weight, right? If you lose a little weight without sacrificing explosiveness, I mean, I think Zion could be a lot like, I don't know. It'll be interesting. We got Bismarck, Bismarcky, no, Bismarck Biombo. Hot signatures. Brian, oh, you're worried more about Lamar. Lamar is one run away from turning into Teddy Bridgewater. To be fair, Teddy Bridgewater was a non contact injury at practice, I think. I think Teddy Bridgewater's ligaments were. We're going to do that whether he was on the field or not, unfortunately. Lamar Jackson. I mean, I don't know. Russell Wilson hasn't gotten killed on the field yet, right? They're about the same size, aren't they? If Russell Wilson can find a way, there's Chris Middleton to 2018. If, if Russell Wilson can do it, I don't see why, why that formula can't be replicated by... You know, by the likes of other quarterbacks. I also think that there are more designed runs for Lamar than we think. And they use like such... I mean, th this is the brilliance of, of the, the Ravens staff. There's Raymond Felton to one eye. Is that they... I know we're in a basketball break, but kind of in, it's in a similar topic, I guess. Um, they developed packages specifically to to work with and protect Lamar Jackson. You know what I mean? I think Lamar is also smarter than someone like RG. RG3 thought he was Superman. 
it's, it's kind of like Cam Newton, too. They just kind of ran around helter-skelter, just reckless. They were reckless with their bodies because they thought, I'll never get hurt. I'm the biggest dude out here. You know, I like getting hit. I like playing. They just weren't smart. Lamar Jackson seems like he's he's running a little bit more smarter. Smartly, smarter. And when you're the best athlete on the field, it seemingly looks like you're the, he's the best athlete on the field at any given time. And it doesn't matter who's chasing it. You know, Russell Wilson's not dead. Michael Vick didn't get killed, right? Vick was outrunning dudes. I, th I, th I think he's on a, I think he's a different level, though. There's Landry Shamit, hot signatures. That's for the Sixers, Sill Sixers edition here for Aaron. But I mean, are you saying that that Lamar Jackson is not capable of learning from Russell Wilson, Ryan? I think I'm way off base. He, he's saying Russell Wilson's best not get taking a hit, and that Wilson runs a third of the time less than Lamar. Agreed. But I think Lamar Jackson can, you know, learn from that, because I it strikes me that he doesn't have like this. This Super Bowl or the Superman sort of mentality that I can just run over everybody. No, I think the, I think those are more planned. I think those are like the the three options that he has. If like his other routes are not available. And then, like, it's built to for him to run it, inside if necessary, if need be. I don't think he's just going, oh, the play broke down. That's my impression. And that's what, I mean, from the, from the stuff that I've read, that, that's, I've been given that impression that it may seem like Lamar Jackson is like, oh, the play broke down and there's, you know, there's a hole in the middle of the offensive line. I'm busting through that and I'm going to try to make some highlight play. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I think with with so many rules about where you can hit a quarterback to, I think that has changed a lot and has allowed the Lamar Jacksons of the world to to and Russell Wilsons to thrive. I've I've watched Ravens games where where I've seen I've seen linebackers pull up from hitting well or just any game drill, pull up from hitting a quarterback on the run cuz they didn't know if they can hit him where. Like, they didn't want to give up another personal foul 15-yard penalty. So, I don't know. I think the NFL has changed a little bit. But if... It, if yeah, all it takes is one, but you couldn't say the same thing? Russell Wilson, as careful as he is, as elusive as he is, you know, then there's that one hit, and he's done. Just the same as Lamar Jackson, if you consider him, or RG3, consider him reckless. I mean, I don't know. This reminds me of the of the movie uh, of the movie Heat with Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Al Pacino plays an LAPD detective, and Al Pacino is uh, talking to some uh, to an informant, and the informant tells Al Pacino, "Hey, I can get killed." For, tell, for talking to you. And then Al Pacino retorts, you can get killed walking your doggy. Wise words from Al Pacino as Vince and Hannah in the movie Heat. 006 out of 149, DeAndre Jordan. You can get killed walking your doggy. Give me all you got. If you have not watched Heat in a little while, ladies and gentlemen, if you know what I'm talking about, there's DeAndre Jordan, uh, Mavs edition, going to Charles. 
watch it. It's good. Speaking of Al Pacino and Robert Downey, I have not have seen have still have not seen The Irishman yet. Eighty one out of ninety nine SGA. Yeah, Lamar yeah, Brian O saying Lamar Jackson's fantastic. He's a huge fan, but look at Mahomes. He's regressed. Most of the most of the breakout years have then regressed. Time will tell, defense will figure out eventually. Yeah, I think you're right. They do. But I think I think the regression of Patrick Mahomes is more related to their lack of a running game. They have no credible running threat. Portland Trailblazers, Gary Trent Jr., and that sets that sets up nothing because then you could just defend Patrick Mahomes the entire time. Gary Trent Jr. for the Trailblazers, Aaron. There's Van Vliet, 299. I mean, if if the Chiefs, the Chiefs and Raiders are playing, nice uh, rookie roll call, Dante DiVincenzo for the Bucks, Charles with the Bucks. But uh, imagine if the Brian, imagine if the Chiefs had Josh. Jacobs from the Raiders, right? Josh Jacobs, just one running back, has changed the entire complexion of the Raiders' offense. Like they have, they barely, they you know, they outside of Darren Waller, they don't have a credible. I mean, Tyrell Williams is good, but not on his own. But Jacobs has done well enough to. I mean, it's amazing what kind of change he's made to the offense. He's he, he's established the run well enough. Where Derek Carr can now throw at a highly efficient rate, and that's done wonders for the Raiders. Off now, now, like I've been saying earlier today, they're not going to win shootouts, right? So Raiders' defense is so bad that they're going to give up a lot of points to the Chiefs. And I don't know if they're with a run first kind of thing. I don't know if they're built to. Uh, I don't know if they're built to engage in a shootout with someone like the Chiefs, right? But it's a good good start for the Raiders. They're ahead of schedule, I think. But that's all it takes. So imagine the Chiefs. If the Chiefs had a had a halfway decent running threat, you know, I mean that's just that that would just be impossible to to, to stop that offense. And then Chiefs just have to fix the defense a little bit and they'd be incredible. Yeah, Latavius Murray was pretty solid too. But he was Latavius Murray was was just like was basically so here here's the center right here right here's Latavius Murray in the backfield here's Derek Carr right so Latavius Murray would just get it and then just be like boop right now. With Josh Jacobs, you can get him, and he can go this and go boop, right? Latavius Murray can just – it just goes – well, yeah, he's kind of like Adrian Peterson. That's actually kind of a good point. Sort of like a poor man's a poor man's Adrian Peterson. He's, he's tall like Adrian Peterson. Most running backs aren't as tall as Latavius Murray um, or Adrian Peterson. Um, he was tall and really just had – and powerful, but really just had one – Kind of direction to go, and unlike Adrian Peterson, he was unable to bust through most of the time. You know, but you know the Raiders used him really well in a lot of short yardage situations. It's kind of hard to stop him in short yardage situations. I think that's how the Saints are kind of used him. Um, I think it's on the Saints now. So, but good offensive line, a running attack to set up the pass. I mean, it's just. It's basic stuff, but you know, I mean that that's what it is. All right, last box, seventh box, ladies and gentlemen. There's Miles Turner, John Wall, Silver, D. 
DeAndre Ayton draft lottery silver. He's going to be back soon. Oh, what do we got here? Ooh, Luka Doncic. Rookie silver. So what do these what do these Lucas go for if the Donner's optic Lucas go for that well? You can see it silvering up right there. There it is. Right? The regular cards are just like this. In case you need to know the difference. That'll cover some spots in this, Charles. Charles got randomized the Dallas Mavericks in this one. I think the Valentunis is not numbered, but it will ship. I'm just breezing by those. Tyler Johnson to 99. Brian O saying a couple hundred bucks. Two, 250. There you go. That covers some spots there, Charles. So you, oh, you, so you think the Prism hol Silvers are selling less than the Optic Hollows. Got it. Right, the whole short printing thing we were talking about earlier. There's Dwight Howard, who's actually playing pretty decently for the Lakers. Bit of a revival for him. Yao Ming. Well, if you uh, if you get that graded, Charles, with all these ones you've been getting, I mean, I think grading would be a decent option. Wait, Brian says prisms are way more. Patrick saying the last graded one out of nine or to nine graded in a nine went for seven sixty six for one of those Lucas. So by itself a couple hundred. Vinny was saying by itself optic hollows were going for seven. I don't know. I haven't I haven't done the I haven't crunched the numbers yet, but everyone can check on on eBay completed auctions and keep an eye on it. There needs to I don't know if someone does the nice Trey Young luck of the lottery hyper. There needs to be that goes to Sean and the Hawks. I feel like there needs to be like a needs to be like someone who tracks like the up and down values of all of these players over a, a course of time. Shouldn't, isn't there like an automated, there must be an automated way to do this. Someone smarter than me should, should do that. And it'll be like, well, Devin Booker cards, you know, if you can go, it'll be like Devin Booker rookies are now this. Three years ago, they were this. And there's Hamadou Diallo. Okay, see. That will be for Bobby Bove. There's Rondo. Harden, 60 points tonight. Ridiculous. Al Horford to 299. I feel like they should have kept Al Horford, right? The Celtics. Aaron Gordon. And Smith Jr., Mo Wagner, Josh Hart, out of 199. Red Wave, DeMontis Sabonis. Wait, Brian O saying that the, pris the Prism Silver, ungraded, he said he looked now, is now four to five hundred dollars ungraded. And if, if it's graded if it grades out at a nine five, it's close to a thousand. You know, even like when, if you join 1920 basketball breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com, like even his second year stuff seems to do really well as well. I mean, not not like hundreds of dollars, but like if you got the same hollow in this year's prism, which drops next Wednesday on jazbeescasebreaks.com, you know, like I still think it goes for like 20 bucks, 20, which I'm sure it would go for 20, 30 bucks or something. I would not be surprised. If not a little bit more. Save that Miles Bridges too.
talked about him earlier. And like LeBron stuff this year, nineteen. This is last year's, but nineteen twenty LeBron stuff will be in his Lakers jersey. I hear that is going pretty well as well. There's close to Santa Tecumpo, who I think is in the Lakers organization now. We'll see one of those Jaron Jackson juniors too. Right, Giannis Silvers are still holding value, says Vinny. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like the stock market, folks. It's identifying the player, being having the foresight to keep. You know, it's a lot, lot more fun than the stock market, too. I think. And behind faults is Zaire Smith, six out of twenty-five. That's a mo Mojo refractor right there. That will go to Aaron and the Sixers. And the last bit here, there's Bazemore, Costas. We got Wilson Chandler Silver. That'll ship. Marcus Smart Red Wave. Not numbered, but that will ship. Steven Adams and Nikola Jokic at the end. And there you have it, folks. Our seven box football mixer. Basketball mixer. I'm talking football during the basketball mixer too. In the books. But thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, everybody. Um, did, did I have to? Do I have to do a? No, I already gave those boxes away. Congrats again to uh, David Munn and Justin S. S Scope Scope Gay. I probably butchered that, Justin. Sorry, but congrats to you. Both of you are getting a sealed box of 2018-19 hoops basketball. And that'll probably be shipped separately from your hits. Generally, mini helmets, helmets, mem like live memorabilia like that, and sealed boxes and whatnot are um, sealed boxes and whatnot will be set separately from separately from your hits. We'll probably receive that in a different package. There you go, folks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.